Sinclair is a big guy. Hey, over here. Hey, please be more careful. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess? Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Oh. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Yari's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Run! Run! We're anywhere, pal. We own this city. You can't run. You can't get away so easy. Jesus, please. Come on, pal. You gotta piss. Go. Go. Oh, All we want to do is talk, Cappy. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there. That's all. That right? Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. OK, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Celieri? Yeah. 
He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The bot's finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. You're well, for the map. Kind of problem? He's gonna drive the boss? Nah. You don't you're lose your job all. that easy. But that don't mean you're good with me I hate or anyone around. else. Born as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Find anything good? Nah, I... I'm watching you. Got it? I get it. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. <sighs> Another bullshit day. Like this, there's more where it came from. Adan's grateful for your business. So we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back north. If the Don wants to do this again, we can meet out of town. Someplace there's no sign. Bagona Vitenzo! Ciao, Polly! 
Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gap. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful, keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Who us? You got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs>